In this video, we will discuss the basics of using Work Planner in Operations Center web and mobile, how work plans simplify the operator experience in the machine. With Work Planner in Operations Center, you can create work plans before or during the season and send the plans wirelessly to your John Deere Gen 4 or G5 display in your JD-Link connected equipment. You can start plans with basic information and then add details later as needed. This can be done from anywhere on any device with Operation Center web and mobile. With Work Planner, the equipment operator's experience is simplified. Busy times can bring a lot of confusion, phone calls, questions, and lost time. Work Planner can help all that by automatically filling out the setup page on the display. This also ensures you have accurate documentation data you can count on. Work Planner can be found in the Plan menu in Operations Center. Work Planner is organized by the year and operation type and can be changed by selecting the drop-down menu. We will begin with creating a basic work plan. Start by selecting the year and operation type, then click the Add Plan button. This plan will be for Seeding 2025. Next, select the field. To choose the field, you can use the checkbox or simply select the fields on the map. Click the Next button to advance to the next page where you will add a few more details to your work plan. Work details can vary based on the operation type and you do not need to add every detail at first. You can add the details you know today and add more later if you want to edit your plan. You will need to add your crop type. Here we will use soybeans. You can enter the variety now or later. Varieties you have in the products tool will appear in the drop-down and you can easily add a new variety. The seeding rate can also be entered now or later. You may enter a rate for each field or enter the same rate for multiple fields. You can also use a previously made prescription or create a prescription for an individual field in TELUS, right from Work Planner. Fertilizers and chemicals can be added to a seeding plan under the Products and Mix section. This can be added to the plan later along with the units and rate. Loading your crop inputs into the product tool and operation center can make these previous steps even easier. A guidance track in a work plan helps ensure things are done your way. If a guidance track for the field already exists, you can choose from the list. If you use AutoPath, it can be included as well. If no guidance track is available, there is a notes section to explain how you want it done. Next, you assign the plan to the equipment that will do the work. Equipment in your Operations Center account will appear in the menu. We will select the tractor and the planter. You can also select the team members that will complete the work and include any special work instructions for them. The instructions will appear on the display when the operator enters the field. Once you select Save, the newly created work plan will appear in the planned work list in Work Planner. The table view shows plan details such as progress, crop, rate, scent status, and estimated time to complete. In part two of our Work Planner series, we'll cover how to edit and apply your work plans. Thank you for watching.